Hey, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? Um, hold on, I'm getting like a bunch of phone calls coming in, so let me lower my ringtones real quick. Um, so two things I wanted to talk about in this video, and uh, we'll get to the first one. The first one um, has to do with the ZTE Max, and I've read comments. Several people have been running into this issue. After updating the ZTE Max to KitKat, <clears throat> there's been this issue that when they go to the Play Store to download the application, it says insufficient amount of uh, insufficient storage, and that's like the error code that they get. Now, um, I've been exchanging comments back and forth with Roberta Coleman, and uh, you know, I had made the suggestion to root the phone, um, and the root method for the ZTE Max is so weird <clears throat> and um, really you know it's not user friendly so a lot of people that ha I have suggested that they would need root to fix a problem um, are wanting to wait for a, a one click method to happen however uh, Ms. Coleman actually found a method that worked for her without having to root her phone or do anything it's a workaround and what uh, she uses is the Amazon App Store and um, I believe it's One Mobile's App Store. And by using those, she can set the destination of the application to be stored in the internal SD. Now, for those who don't know, the ZTE Max actually has two storage locations within, you know, the device itself. And then there's an option to add an external. So you have an internal storage and then there's an internal SD and then you have an expand uh, an, an area to expand the the ex for external SD um, storage so yeah using Amazon or the uh, other application that was named I'll write there I'll write, I'll write the store apps names in the description of this video so you guys know what to use and that will help and I do want to thank Roberta Coleman for uh, finding that workaround and hopefully that helps out a number of people out there running into the same problems. So, uh, main topic of this video is I finally got my Hydro Icon back. It came today, FedEx dropped it off to me, I was super happy, I was like, yes, I got my waterproof phone. <laughs> um, I haven't switched my phone line to this device, I'm actually keeping this as a backup device, it's going to sit here. I'm um, using the ZTE Max. But um, some uses I found for this, you know, especially like, you know, um, the summer is going to be coming around again. And uh, I do want to go to the water parks and stuff like that. And so it would be great to switch my phone line over to this phone and go to the water parks because I can take pictures, videos and stuff, you know, of the water park and, you know, me with my kids and everything like that. Now, uh, the phone is on KitKat. It, it, you know, I didn't have to update it or nothing like that. It has KitKat already, you know, in it. And... Um, yeah, I could say I like some of the changes that, that has been made to it. Uh, the cameras are still, they're still not all that great. Uh, the rear camera's always been fine. It's not a big issue with me. Uh, it takes uh, decent, decent quality pictures. It's not going to be like your high-tech 13 megapixel cameras or anything like that, but it does take good pictures for it being a budget device, 8 megapixels and it does fairly well. The front-facing camera is what I've always had the problems with, the selfie camera. And since it's now in KitKat, the uh, idea that I've always had about this device um, actually proven true, being that you can take very good um, selfies in low light with the Google, the Google camera app, which is what I have that I'm using as my, my main camera application. So I don't use the stock camera app. I use the Google camera app, which is, you know, compatible with KitKat devices only. So... I mean, there's workarounds to get it on Jelly Bean, but it's like a whole hassle. I'm not going to get too far de in depth with that. But uh, let's take a selfie real quick. <laughs> Just making silly faces or whatnot. And, uh, yeah, that's that's how the, um, the selfies come out. So, you know, with the stock camera, it's usually darker, low lighting like this. It's not all that great. So, you know, I got to say, uh, the camera's actually working pretty good. Um... And I did a couple of test calls. I did activate it on my line for a little while to test it out, make sure everything was working. And um, 
I was able to hear phone calls, so no problems with the screen uh, uh, vibrating and stuff like that. So that's uh, you know, that's pretty cool. Anyways, we got a video chat with my son here in a little bit. He wants to video chat with me. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get off this update. And uh, no, I don't know a root method for the KSR Hydro Icon on 4.4.2 KitKat yet. I tried a couple things already, they didn't work. I've tried iRoot and I've tried uh, Root Genius and that hasn't worked. So uh, when I do find one, I will definitely let you guys know now that I have it back in my possession. I can uh, try to find some root methods for it. And if I do find one, I'll definitely make a video and I'll definitely be showing you guys. So uh, thanks for watching this little update. Again, um, go ahead and uh, give a big shout out to Roberta Coleman for that workaround for the uh, error, the the internal error storage issue on the ZTE Max on KitKat. I gotta say thank you so much because that helps out. You know, we, and I encourage everybody that if you <laughs> it's funny the little film it came with when it came in the box, but like you know if there's any issues you know that people are experiencing on any of my videos and you happen to have a workaround please do so please comment your workaround in the comment section of that particular video that it pertains to and because uh, it really helps out everybody because that's you know that's what we're here for is we're here to you know share information and just make it you know have a uh, how I say it to have you know the best mobile experience you can with your device and that's what we're all here for um, and that's what my videos are intended for is to help you guys out so you guys can enjoy your devices a lot better um, that's pretty much it guys I gotta go so thank you guys for watching thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed it click that subscribe button if you have not thank you to all my new subscribers I believe I'm close to 900 and that's pretty cool it's exciting I'm, I'm very excited about that and uh, yeah some toys games and tech reviews to come in the future my name is Rob I'll see you guys next time